Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a full review video of the Goodness Jelly Bean ROM on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Very excited to show off this ROM for you. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and go into settings, go to about device. You'll see at the bottom, uh, Goodness Jelly Bean. Um, I always pronounce his name wrong, so M I J J Z. Big shout out to him, the developer, putting this ROM together. Also, shout out to anyone else involved, our Vocal 12, anyone else. Uh, as well, so big thanks to them. Uh, you can actually check out the ROM thread if you want to see anyone else involved with this ROM. But you will notice it is based off of FK23. Uh, says that at the end, uh, the leaked FK23 Jelly Bean build based on Android 4.1.2. So I'm sure you've already noticed the theme of this ROM is completely different. It looks really nice, actually. I'm, I'm really impressed at the theme of this specific ROM. So uh, you will see that it does have the stock TouchWiz launcher included. I don't know of any other launcher that's included. Of course, you can go to the Play Store and download and install any, any launcher that you do prefer. But you will notice icons. They are all pretty much themed, many of them. They're also inverted applications. Uh, you'll see, I mean, all these different uh, application icons are themed. You'll notice they don't all necessarily have the same color. Um, they're all different uh, icon styles and such, which I like about this ROM. Um, it's not all necessarily one color to the theme. I mean, it definitely, uh, this background is really cool as well. I want to point that out. But uh, it's got a more dark look to it. You'll see not necessarily lighter colors, but a uh, more dark look to the theming of it. So you got a lot of black to it. Pull this down. You'll see up at the top, notification bar is themed as well. Um, you can swipe away notifications, of course. Uh, you have settings in the upper right-hand corner. You have expandable notifications with power saving, airplane screen rotation, mobile data. You can press and hold on any of them, and it goes straight into that specific uh, setting that you want to check out. Go into the camera application, of course. Pretty much a stock camera application. Nothing necessarily out of the ordinary with that one. Take a quick picture there. Also wanted to make a note of the lock screen. You will see it does have the actually water ripple effect from the Note 2 and S3 that they have included. So that's kind of cool. You can swipe up from specific applications and it opens those up. You'll see the dialer right here. Very clean looking dialer. I really like the look to this. Um, you can go over to logs, favorites, contacts as well. Um, I haven't signed into my Google account yet, but uh, that would be the dialer there again. Nice look to that uh, water droplets. You can pull down the notification bar while you are in your lock screen. You can actually customize these shortcuts. So you'll see, I believe this is Google Now shortcut. I don't know, my Google account synced as I mentioned. So the cards are not going to show up. I can try and do a voice search. What's the weather like in Las Vegas, Nevada? It's 44 degrees and clear in Las Vegas. Okay, so you'll see that worked just fine. It looks like it uh, has stopped. I'm not sure why. Might need a Play Store update. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that just forced closed. Uh, but anyways, I will um, actually report this to the developer right away, so hopefully that'll be fixed by the time they actually release. They haven't necessarily posted this ROM download yet. But again, I'll make a note now letting you know if this Google Now issue is because I don't, haven't signed into my Google account or what it's all about. If it needs to be updated, I'll let you know. But uh, again, uh, hopefully that gets updated. It should work just fine. So expect it to, once you download it yourself, expect that to work. Uh, let's go to the messaging application. We can go ahead and send a quick message to Google, 466453, and we can say, hey, and send it. You'll see all, all themed, it does have direct call. You can use it when you pull it up to your face. I'm going to do that now. I actually just put it up. I don't think the keyboard can be open. I don't know. But I'm going to put it up to my face. It just did a quick vibrate, and then it should actually call that specific number. There's the nice in-call screen. Looks uh, looks pretty cool. I'm going to end that real quick. Uh, my number isn't on my Epic 4G Touch, so that text message did fail. You'll see you have another themed keyboard. I believe it is the Samsung keyboard, so it does have the swipe capabilities. Again, it is themed blue. You can pull it down. You can choose input method. They have swipe as well. If you are a fan of swipe, I can pull that up so you can take a look at that. So it uh, it is just a standard swipe. I'm not going to register or anything. So... Skipping everything, go back, and there we go. So swipe, looking the same. It isn't themed swipe, but the Samsung keyboard is themed. Cool application they've included is the pop-up browser. So we can go ahead and select that, and you'll see it's just the pop-up browser, just like from the S3 or the Note 2 that shows up. Um, you can just select that as a separate application. So when you exit out of it, you can go back home. You can go into a messaging application. Your pop-up browser is still there if you're trying to read something. 
anything like that. So uh, really great, you can actually press this arrow and it will open up the full browser. You'll see the full browser is themed as well and it will bring us to that uh, specific application. I also wanna make a note when you uh, click on a link to go to a site, it gives you the option to open up pop-up browser or your full web browser as well. So you can either choose to go to the internet browser or again, you can go to that pop-up browser. It does have various inverted applications. I believe the Play Store is inverted. The calculator has a nice theme to it. I believe Google Talk is inverted. Gmail might be inverted as well. Uh, so th since those are inverted, um, it, it's definitely going to use a more dark look to it. It'll go very well with this specific theme. So you also notice, of course, those icons are themed. I do want to go back into those settings. And when we're in the settings, oh, before I go into settings, I want to make a note when you go to apps, uh, you will see the Sprint Hotspot app. You can use that for your Wi-Fi tethering needs. Just go ahead and use that. Um, it should work just fine on FK23. The Hotspot is uh, left open for you to use. You can just turn it on and it will work great as long as you have a data connection, which I do not at the moment. But let's go back into those settings that I did mention. Uh, you can scroll down, you have various ones, you can change uh, your lock screen settings that I mentioned, you can go to lock screen options, select shortcuts, and you can change whatever shortcuts are there. If I wanted to change mail to calculator, you can, it switches right away, and your lock screen does change. Um, you can turn off that ripple effect if you do not like it, it's up to you if you, if you want that ripple effect or not. We can scroll down some more, you'll see some... Uh, extras here, you got goodness updater, goodness quick panel toggles, and super user. So the goodness updater isn't, it doesn't have anything in it yet. A bunch of stuff will be added very soon, so expect that, uh, expect that to be added. I don't know exactly what's going on. Looks like there is an ad, uh, ad there. You can just back out of it, no big deal. You can donate if you would like. Um, but there we go. So you have the ROM, you have installed apps or settings. So you have various uh, things that you can install with this updater. Again, they will add things very soon. Goodness, quick panel toggles. Uh, you can change which buttons are up at the top. So if you want various ones uh, with these quick panel toggles right here, you can change which ones show up. If you want a specific one, I don't want lock screen. Let's say we want LED flashlight there. Uh, so those get added. Uh, it doesn't look like they're editing them though. So let's uncheck GPS, see if GPS is still there. It is, so it doesn't look like they've actually um, integrated yet with these panels up here, so I'll have to make a quick note of that as well. Uh, again, hopefully this will be changed by the time the uh, public release is out, so there's a couple notes that I will make. Again, I'll make an annotation if they do get changed. Uh, they should get, be changed just fine. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's it's really about it. You have those other motion uh, just like the one where you put it up to your face to make the call, you have uh, double tap to top, tilt to zoom, pan to move icons, shake to update, turn over to mute pause, all those various uh, motion features that TouchWiz is included with, with Jelly Bean, of course. So uh, that's really about everything I did want to cover. Right off the bat, give you a good look at the theme of it. Uh, nice blue icons up at the top. Um, press and hold that power button. You have uh, various options, power off, data network mode, airplane mode, reboot, mute, vibrate, and sound and you can press and hold that home button. And you have options to go to Google Now, Task Manager, and Clear All. You'll see this is our recent running apps list. You can go into it when you tap on it like I just accidentally did, or you can swipe away specific applications that you don't wanna see there, or you can press these garbage can in the bottom right, and it will actually get rid of every single one of them, just like that. So now when I go back into it, it'll say no recent apps. You can quickly go into Google Now, whatnot. I also wanna make a quick note when you go into settings, more settings, uh, and it is, let's see, where is it? I believe it's under mobile networks, connections optimizer right there. I recommend unchecking it. Uh, you can leave it checked if you would like to. Oops, not mobile data, connections optimizer. Uncheck that. If you don't want it, uh, it'll randomly turn on your Wi-Fi sometimes when you don't need it. I like to manually manage my radios, but you can use it if you'd like. I always like to show people where that's at because some people will say, why is my Wi-Fi randomly turning on? I don't. I didn't ask it to. Well, that's why. Um, that's that's just about everything I did want to cover though. If you you'll definitely have to let me know what you think, how you like this ROM, be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.